In this multi-channel hierarchical project, we have two output channels placed as separate sheet symbols and eight input channels created using the repeat function. Let's connect the two output channels and place some net labels to illustrate how this will affect the schematic. Now let's jump to the actual schematic sheet and place the net label net. The net assigned at the hierarchical level will take priority. That's what we will see on the compile channel tabs along the bottom. Now let's connect a different circuit from the MB signal bus to each channel and see how the channel schematics change. By switching the schematic channel tabs, we will find that each channel has a different circuit at the input. Now let's move on to the eight input channels created using the repeat function. Some of the signals are common to all of the channels. However, the signal headphone is unique to each of the eight channels and connected to a separate net. The source of the headphone signals for the headphone ports is a port on the input schematic sheet, which in turn is the output of a signal bus that includes eight nets on the headphone schematic. Now back on the hierarchical schematic, let's connect the headphone bus to the eight input channels by placing the appropriate net labels. Next, we also need to add the repeat function to the headphone sheet entry on the sheet symbol for the input channel. Let's take a look at what similar connections would look like if using separate sheet symbols for each of the input channels. Let's take a look at the input channels and place a net label on the headphone signal and see what happens when we switch between the channel tabs. Each channel tab has its own unique headphone signal. 